create your dream with Success Television. Hi, Dr. Sharon Melnick here. Have you been using time management techniques but still you feel overwhelmed, unfocused, like you're not getting everything done that you need to? If so, I want to talk with you about why your time management approaches may not have worked so well for you. Time management tools are really helpful, right? They show you how to schedule your time. They show you how to organize your stuff. The problem is, is that these techniques are only as good as the person using them. That would be you. Stephen Covey, he summed it up best when he said, time management is a misnomer. The real challenge is to manage ourselves. So take a gut check for a moment. How well do you manage yourself? Let me give you three examples. These are things that I've heard from clients even just over the last few weeks. Here's the first example. So let's say you have a new idea and you really want to get it out to your clients. So you schedule a block of time from 4 to 5 this afternoon. That's an excellent time management technique. But here's what might happen. 4 o'clock rolls around, you sit down at your desk, and you start thinking to yourself, oh no, what if they think this is a stupid idea? Or uh, what if I send this out and nobody responds? I'm really going to look like a fool. Or can I really trust myself to know enough about this? Maybe I better get on the internet and surf around for some more information. 5 o'clock rolls around, <laughs> what do you think is going to determine whether you've sent out that email or not? Was it whether you scheduled it in your calendar or how well you managed yourself? Here's another example. Let's say that you've decided to check your email only three times a day for 30 minutes. That's an excellent time management technique. But what if in the first block of 30 minutes you get an email from your boss saying, I want to meet with you first thing in the morning to check in on progress on that big visibility project that we have. Okay, what's your reaction? Do you go into a panic? Do you worry about, oh no, have I done enough? Oh no, what is my boss going to think about me? Oh no, what is this going to mean for my job security? Because if so, that obsessing has just lost you about 10 or 15 minutes, and it's really thrown off the 30 minutes you've had to return emails. Here's another example. Let's say that you had an interaction one morning with a client, and it ended on a pretty awkward note. Okay, so as you're going throughout your day, you're kind of thinking about it. It's niggling at you in the back of your mind. But then that night, you've scheduled date night with your spouse. That's an excellent time management technique, right? Making time for the things that are most important to you. But during that dinner, what do you do? You obsess and you replay what happened that morning. It's like, oh no, did I do something wrong? What is the client going to think about me? Are they still going to want to work with me? What is that going to mean for my financial future? So there you've done it. You've scheduled your time for date night, but were you really present? And also, did you schedule in the 20 minutes you're probably going to like stay up at night before you go to sleep thinking about it? The idea is that time management is a two-part process. It's how you schedule your time on the outside, but it's also about how you manage yourself on the inside. And one without the other is not going to get you the results that you want. So here's the takeaway. Instead of focusing on managing your time, start cleaning up the time that you've been wasting that you've not been accounting for by your time management systems.